I think this is really early time before uh, any uh, stringent measure uh, need to be um, lifted, mainly because we don't know a lot about this infection. This has been around for us for only uh, three and a half uh, months, basically, and a lot more need to be explored before we will be in the position to understand that this is enough suppression so that it doesn't come back again. This uh, access strategy need to be defined on a country level or at least at the continent level. So uh, what I can tell you is that there are certain criteria which will define when the uh, exit strategy need to be applied and when the lockdown need to be eased. The first criteria is that when number of cases of new cases uh, start to decline significantly for consecutive 14 days, that is the time when you can start thinking of uh, releasing the restriction measures. The second important criteria for releasing the restriction measures is that your national capability for the healthcare system is such that every person who is infected can be treated. And the third criteria is that you have built up enough capability that you can identify every person, whether it is positive or negative, through testing, and then can isolate them who are positive and the one who are negative, you can test whether they have the antibodies against that. This is not really an easy strategy, but these are the three criteria by which you will be able to define when to take the restriction measures off. So if premature uh, up, uh, lifting of this uh, control measures would be made, that means people would be coming back to in contact again and then the virus will spread quite lavishly between the people who are not infected before. And even people who are infected before and they have established immunity, we don't really know for how long this immunity would last. So they might also be reinfected and therefore the number of cases would increase significantly. That would be really problematic, especially because uh, the first uh, control measures to be put in place is easier, but the second wave control measures uh, putting back into the society is even more difficult. And this is not very surprising. Basically, every pandemics we have seen, the second wave was inevitable. So therefore, this time, I think the cautious need to be taken very seriously and we, we should make sure that it doesn't come back again. One of the reasons that the second wave uh, is always deadly is because people who are already under the lockdown for, say, six to seven weeks, they are already exhausted. So they will start coming back into the normal, normal life. And if you're going to put the restriction measures again, there would be less tendency to follow those measures. And the second problem is that people who are uh, not immune, they haven't been infected in the first time, they would be hardly uh, hit by the virus because, uh, because they have never been exposed, they didn't have the immunity. But the relatively plus side of it is that if, for example, we have 20-30% of the infection uh, in the first wave, that means people would have immunity and that would slow the spread of the infection within the smaller clusters. But the clusters, those are not exposed before, they will be hit very hard. So China started putting the lockdown, which has been unprecedented, never been reported for such scale of uh, lockdown in the living history. So that had left a quite good impression because it was leveling off the number of cases quite uh, quickly. So therefore, it gave confidence for the rest of the countries to apply the lockdown. But now they have lifted the lockdown. That is another example other countries will try to follow. But there are a few important messages over there. Although the Wuhan uh, lockdown has been lifted, but that has been lifted on a relatively symbolic state because people are still under uh, restricted movements. Only people who are having uh, the QR code green, they've been allowed to go out because these are the people who are having uh, enough antibodies in their blood. So therefore they are protected. And also people who are working in essential uh, jobs, for example, producing medicine or producing uh, medical appliances, those are the ones who are allowed outside. So we certainly have points to learn from the Wuhan um, overall scenario, but need to be taken cautiously depending on which country it is being dealt with.